guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for making some time out of your day to watch the video. Definitely never take that for granted. And got a good video for you guys today. I'm gonna show you guys a lot of different buzz bait and spinner bait trailer hook setups. Uh, I think a lot of people just basically use the same trailer hook setup for everything that they use. But I've got several different options here that's gonna get you a lot more hookups under a lot of different conditions that you can fish. So I think you guys will find it really interesting. And real quick guys, just wanna remind everybody, we are getting really close to 100,000 subscribers. We're like three or 400 away from it right now. I really appreciate everybody out there that has helped so far to get this much. And I've got a really nice giveaway coming up at 100,000 subscribers. And if you guys would like to uh, uh, have a chance at that, just subscribe to the channel. And I'd also like to invite everybody and thank everybody for checking out our view product shopping tab that's on uh, the bottom of the screen when the video clicks on. Much appreciated there. Okay, guys, let's get into this there a little bit. Now, I think that, um, first of all, I want to I talk a little bit about... Uh, spinner bait and buzz baits, trailer hooks without trailer hooks or with them. Guys, one of the things before we get into the tips on the trailer hooks I'm gonna share with you, I have experimented a ton with um, using trailer hooks and not using trailer hooks on buzz baits and spinner baits. And usually this, how I've experimented and came to this conclusion was that um, in practice, I don't use a trailer hook because I'm not, it doesn't matter if I miss them or not, you know, cause in fact, I'd prefer to miss them and catch them in the tournament. So for years and years and years, I never used trailer hooks on my spinner baits and buzz baits. And I noticed over some decades of reproductible results, I simply get more bites on a spinner bait and a buzz bait with no trailer hook on it. There's, you know, I think the trailer hook is just added hardware that maybe the fish can key in on. I'm not sure what the deal was. Um, a lot of people say, well, they don't really see how visual that is, but I can assure you guys, I have come to 100% conclusive belief in my own fishing experiences that you will get more bites with no trailer hook. Now, here's the dilemma that you have. It's like, how many more bites are you going to get? And how many more bites are you going to get that you lose if you don't have a trailer hook on there? So for the most part, it's like I've weighed this out and it's like, okay, do I use a trailer hook and not get as many bites, but do I land more of the bites that I get with a trailer hook? So after experimentation and this and that, I've concluded that by a slight advantage, not much, that if you get a hundred bites on a spinner bait with or spinner bait or buzz bait without a trailer hook, maybe you're going to land 85 of them. But if you get, you know, 100 bites and you do have a trailer hook on there it may add up to five or six or seven more fish in the boat by that trailer hook even though you don't get as many bites overall with it so from that standpoint i'm sort of torn with that now i'll tell you one thing before we get into the the tip here on the on the trailer hooks i will tell you if you're fishing a spinnerbait slow like a like if you're slow rolling like a big three-quarter ounce spinnerbait or something like that or you're fishing a buzz bait, we're just gurgling it around the surface. A lot of times, I won't use a spinner, or won't use a trailer hook because in that situation, I feel that the bass have time to get it. But if I'm fishing either one of these baits at a medium to fast retrieve, then I'll use a trailer hook. Okay, guys, let me show you now. I'll show you the tip here. First of all, um, another little tip about uh, trailer hooks is go small, guys. I think a lot of people what they do is they go too big on trailer hooks. The thing that you want about a trailer hook is you want a stiff hook. You want It's not the size or the bite gap that matters. It's the stiffness of it. So make sure your trailer hook um, is really stiff. And it's better to go small because if you go small, it's not as obtrusive and you'll simply get more bites. But you still have, you know, the little stinger back there. But see, So this is how most people um, will set them up here. In fact, 98% of the people out there... This is how they run a trailer hook. They just set it on like that. Now, one option that you do have, guys, is turning it upside down like that. Now, the times that I'll turn it upside down is if I feel the fish are coming up on the bait from a great distance away. So if I'm fishing a spinner bait fairly shallow in the water column over maybe a little bit deeper water, a lot of times I'll turn the trailer hook upside down like this. Now, a situation like this would be when I'm waking a spinnerbait. Say I'm fishing it fairly fast, just under the surface in a little bit clean water. 
and maybe I'm fishing it over five to 15 foot of water. By fishing it like this, a lot of times those fish, they can come up and nip, on, nip at it. And instead of them having to come up and over the bait to get both of the hooks on the top side, if they come up and they just nip it from the bottom without coming up over the spinner bait, you can get them on that upside down trailer hook like that. Obviously you can't fish this if you're fishing around any cover. This is a open water application. And it's, it's the same thing with the buzz bait here, guys. Now the buzz bait a lot of times, by the way, guys, this Jamaican boa here, this mega bass Jamaican boa, it, it is a freaking killer buzzer. Um, you can get, I'll put the bait works link in the description. You guys can get some here. But anyway, with the buzz bait, a lot of times you're fishing the buzz bait over cover like that. So most of the time I will fish the buzz bait like this. But if I am fishing a situation where say I'm throwing the buzz bait on riprap or rocky banks, then I'll put it upside down on the buzz bait as well. Now, the other application with this, and a lot of people don't use this, is using a treble hook as a trailer. Uh, just, you know, like a two watt treble hook. And a treble hook trailer on a spinnerbait, guys, is probably the best situation as far as getting all the fish that bite in there. Now, again, the time that I use the treble hook trailer is usually if I'm fishing the spinnerbait or the buzzbait at a really fast clip. Say I'm waking a spinnerbait where I'm just waking it along the surface, or if I'm fishing the buzzbait, uh, say in the summertime when I'm really, really trying to buzz this thing fast to get a reaction strike on it. A lot of times I'll use the treble hook trailer on there because the thing about a treble hook trailer is it gets them from all different sides. It'll get them from the side, from the top, underneath like that. It's a really good, uh, you know, way to catch them like that. And it doesn't set back very far. So, uh, you know, you don't, it doesn't seem to spook the fish a lot. Also with the treble hook guys, if I'm fishing for smallmouth, specifically you guys that fish up north for smallmouth in the Great Lakes, I usually always use some type of a, a red treble hook trailer on there. And and I do use the red, this is the Gamagatsu uh, round bin red treble hook. And I found out that red treble hook uh, works pretty good with that. But anyway guys, that's just a few options that a lot of people don't use. The treble hook trailer or the upside down trailer hook. Um, there are situations where we'll add up to a few more fish. But guys, overall, I will give you this piece of advice. If you can get the fish to eat the bait, and if you're not losing them without a trailer hook, don't use a trailer hook. You'll get more bites. So say, for example, if you're practicing or fishing for fun and, and they're eating it and you're not losing any of them, you know, don't put the trailer hook on there. I know that guy, I think Jimmy Houston, that's one of the top spinnerbait fishermen of all time. I don't think he hardly ever uses a trailer hook. I mean, I remember with the, one of the first tournaments we fished up at the St. Lawrence River, uh, Jimmy almost won that tournament uh, burning a spinnerbait up there. And I remember walking by his boat and seeing all of his spinnerbaits in the boat and he didn't have a trailer hook on any of them up there. So a lot of, a lot of the good spinnerbait fishermen done. So hope it helps out guys and we'll talk later.